Hi, this is Michael Orl of MobileBurn.com. I have in front of me the new Dolphin browser for Pad. It is the Android Honeycomb tablet version of the uh, Dolphin HD browser that's so popular on the Android platform. Let's get right into it. First up, I'm going to show you that you can go into full screen mode very easily just by tapping in the upper left hand corner of the screen. It's quite handy. Tabs across the top. You can see I can quickly switch between tabs. One of the things that Dolphin's really known for is gesture support. So we have some gestures here. You tap on this button here to access the gesture control. That was a go to bottom command. And uh, similar fashion, there's go to top. A number of different things you can do in terms of gestures. I'm going to jump into settings and show you one. I'm going to show you how to make a new gesture. And let's see, I'm going to load a URL. I'm going to have it go to mobileburn.com. You can have it go to any site. Okay, and just for uh, giggles here, I'm just going to make it kind of a backwards G, just so you see it's something unique. I hit done. And I'll jump over to one of the other pages just so you can see it working. It's pretty messy and it still recognizes it as being the gesture for mobile burn. You can of course navigate back and forth with uh, buttons that are on screen here. So I can go back to the Yahoo page for example. Access your bookmarks this way but uh, Dolphin users will recognize the ability to swipe left or right to get to things like gestures and to uh, controls on the right hand side. Now instead of showing add-ons, which is what you normally see on the smartphone version, this gives you quick access to the tabs. So that way if you're in full screen mode here, let's jump into full screen mode, I can swipe and quickly switch back and forth between tabs without having to go out of full screen mode, which is kind of cool. In addition to bookmarks, you also have access to uh, history and your most visited sites and through that same tool. Now right here you'll note an embedded video. This is actually an HTML5 embedded video. It's not flash based. I have flash disabled right now, hence the uh, text ads on the site. The embedded video works quite well. Hey guys, this is Dan, Dan talking about the uh, MyTouch 4G slide. I'm going to jump into settings here and enable flash. It's under the page content section. Enable plugins. When you go through the initial setup of the device, uh, Dolphin recommends that you use the on-demand setting which allows you to activate the flash plugin uh, as needed. Um, it's something I do myself with uh, all the browsers. But you can put it on to always on if you like. Um, while I'm here, I'm going to show you around some of the other settings. You can see this is all organized pretty nicely by type of function. You have advanced settings here. You know, change where the caching goes and things like that. And you can also get to the add-ons and your browsing history and all that kind of things you see in the um, bookmark section. So let's flip back here and uh, reload the page and hopefully we'll see a flash based advertisement. There you go, we have some flash ads loading right now. You can see how much longer it takes to go though. There we are. Flash ads running. I'm going to pop up the menu again so I can jump into the add on section. Dolphin on the smartphone is famous for its add ons and extensions. You can see I've got the basically print to PDF add on here, my PDF and a mobileburn.com RSS feed. Unfortunately, they're not working right now, and I assume that's just because of the beta status of the product, but I expect them they will be working by the time the product is out for real. If you want to select text, um, very easy to do. You just long press and it'll automatically pull up the text selection just as you would see 
in regular Android devices. I have noticed some problems though with the uh, the handlebars. Things just not working quite well. Sometimes it's okay, but a lot of times it's just a little um, funky in terms of what it's showing. Of course, it'll come as no surprise that the browser works in portrait orientation as well as landscape. And you have access to the multi-touch zooming still, as well as uh, double tap intelligent zooming. Where the text reflows. And you can still access the uh, controls on the side once you're scrolled all the way over. Overall, it's a very nice browser, but I have to admit I'm not seeing much in terms of uh, compelling upgrades versus the stock Android browser. Uh, at least at this point, with the beta version we're running, it's not any more stable than the stock Android Honeycomb browser. And uh, gestures are nice, so if you think you'll make use of those, um, then please try it out. It's available for free in the Android market. I also do like the uh, quick full screen mode and uh, the ability to get to the tabs even when you're in full screen mode just by the uh, swipe gesture here. So some good stuff in there and it's still early. This is not the final product so I expect to see a lot of other good functionality. I use the browser for on my uh, smartphones because I think it's a really great product. Uh, Dolphin Browser HD. You should check that out as well if you haven't already. In any case, this is Dolphin Browser for Pad. I'm Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com. Thanks for watching.